Yeah, good morning, YouTube. So this is my Tenma 721098 isolated variable power supply. And I wanted to take a peek inside of here. So I removed the screws. Let's get that off of there. So there's what's inside. This must be the isolation transformer. And then here's your variac, your variable voltage right there. You can see the slider and then you've got your power and then you've just got your two meters one of the problems i noticed with the outlets here's my p3 kilowatt meter and you can see it's upside down if i plug it into those outlets so one thing i want to do really quick and it looks like that's pretty easy to do there's separate outlets here let's kind of pop them out and give them a half twist oh they are keyed in there so i'll have to uh maybe get out my little nibbler you can see they have a key for the ground terminal there so that's pretty easy to do and then i was going to look here at the wiring so let's see the top so you got a voltmeter amp meter I just want to see how the wiring is here so oh, okay so it comes through the fuse to the ammeter and then the ammeter over here so I guess that's the current coming out of the variac so, so I can just take a wire off the ammeter flip the current transformer in there and, and maybe for now I'll just stick it on the outside with some velcro and then just have a little hole right back here I pick up voltage and then current that'll be pretty minimal installation there so yeah there's not a whole lot inside of one of these there's an input fuse output fuse and you got your voltmeter ammeter and your variac here and a big old isolation transformer yeah it looks like it's uh fairly substantial i guess they have i guess this is your isolation uh you gotta get that up here this is your input windings. Here's your isolation, and then here's your output windings. That's what keeps keeps your uh, galvanic separation there between the, uh, the input and the output. So you go input on the bottom, output on the top, comes over to the variac in the middle, and then you retake the uh, variable output, run it through the ammeter, voltmeter, and out to the outlet so yeah pretty simple little device I guess all the money's in there I mean that's a lot of copper a lot of copper and steel in that thing so yeah I think this will be a nice little addition here give me a digital readout and this gives me volts amps watts kilowatts hours. yeah we'll see what this meter is capable of and I'll I'll try to get it set up there. So I just wanted to kind of peek inside of one of these, see what's in there. And yeah, so we'll do the outlet. I'll try to drill a hole here. And uh, so I'll show you that in a separate video. So if you have any questions, put that in the comment section below. Be sure to rate and share this video. Subscribe to the channel for updates when I do another uh, update video on this. And as always, thanks for watching.